All right, so we're back at it again, and this time episode four. Amid the ruins, I can see Clementine here in the middle, and then I think this is Kenny. And I'm not sure who that is. Could it be Luke? Maybe. I don't know. I'm looking forward to this. Previously on The Walking Dead. I love how Lee's the I one talking. Take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walking guts all over you. They can't tell you from one of them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Walk out of here. Oh God, Serena! No don't, shit. don't She's run. Be okay. Gonna be okay. Come on. We have to move. We have to. You're yelling in the middle of the horde and running. Uh, you fuck off. Get off me. I feel like if I'm calling for anyone, I'll get seen. I can't find anybody. No. What do we do? Mobiles with you. We can't stay here with that. We need to keep moving. Look, the walkers are still moving toward the hard rest. We can make it out if we stick to I don't like her, but I'm not gonna just leave her in the middle of a zombie hog. Opening, 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 please. Oh shit! I didn't notice there was one on the left. I thought it was gonna open up. Again. 
This is... I can't find anybody. I know. What do we do? Uh, let's try and see. What if we take? Okay, so it doesn't matter what I tell her. Need to calm down and walk. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of walkers. There's too many. Nah. Like a cow catcher. Just we need. Okay. Just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Don't touch me. Hey. I'm walking as fast as I can. Good start. <laughs> Except for when I died. Oh, well, I guess when Clementine died, but I feel like whoever you're in control of is quote unquote you when you play these kinds of games. So in the first one I'll consider myself to be Lee. And in this one, I would no, consider myself to be right. Clementine. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kimmy. God damn it. Honestly, I think Sarah's dead. I mean. If they aren't, nothing we can do about it. Don't even say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We gotta keep going. We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. I mean... I know I should feel... Sarah was kind of running... But I just can't stop thinking about... In the middle of the herd. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out, but maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked. If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, 
I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Staying would have only prolonged the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course! We panicked! We were scared! The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That sounds an awful lot like you're saying it was their fault. What? No! No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... Ugh. But it kind of was. I have to stop. If you panic inside of the herd... I want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> if you panicked, start screaming and running inside of the herd, then... Alan was supposed to be here Yeah, for this. then it would be your own fault. Is Alvin... He's dead is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Jane, do you know anything about... No. I don't. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. There was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Yeah. And? And? We can't just abandon it. Hey, whoa. I never said you should abandon it. I just mean that sometimes you can't protect everyone you'd want to. And you assume I won't be capable enough. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean uh, you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started. Sure. Me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need your pity. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean that. Shit. Jane, wait. Oh, damn it. Uh, everybody's lost someone. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. They'll be here soon. Holy shit. Hello. It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. Now, hopefully we can figure out a plan. How's Sarita? I tried to talk to Ken and he flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know, he probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Sarita's on her way out. She's probably gonna turn soon. Is, uh, is he gonna take care of her? Jane! I know it's not pretty, but it's better than the alternative. It's not our decision to make. But it's the one that's gotta be made. We're already up the creek enough without a walker to worry about. Just let me talk to him first. Yeah, you do that, Clem. It's all right, Sarita. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna be here with you. Right till the end. Hi, Kenny. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? I said we just wanted a little fucking time alone to say goodbye. <gasps> shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babe. It's okay. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna do what we gotta do. Gonna play the shit hand that this shit world dealt us. Kenny, I'm so sorry about Sarita. You hear that, babe? Clem says she's sorry. Don't that make you feel better? <laughs> Kenny. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I tried to save her. Look at her. I said, look at her. She is going to die. 
because of you. That's not my fault. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. <sighs> Now for the last time, just leave us alone to say goodbye. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. Yeah, we found Kenny in episode two. It doesn't matter. We need to come up with a plan. Clem's rat, especially with that baby on the way. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water, it's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, Ernie. <sighs> Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What, suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? Seeing you people floundering the minute things don't go according to plan has just got me on edge, all right? Well, I don't exactly see you stepping up to help right now, either. We should go find Luke, Sarah, and Nick. If they're in trouble, we might be able to help them. Clementine's right. After everything, after all this, if there's any chance they're still alive, we need to take them. I'll go. Clem can come with me. Thank you. Listen, Rebecca, if anything goes wrong here, you got something to protect yourself? I've got this. You don't think I'd need to... I don't know, but you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. I'm guessing she knows where we are. That she's been to this place before. Look, I'm gonna level with you. You should know that finding your friends, that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before, and, well, a lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start turning on each other, turning on you. You know, bad stuff happens to you when you're alone, too. But your odds are better. There's nobody to watch your back. And when something does happen, there's nobody there to help you. How much help is Kenny gonna be? What he's going through? He's more of a liability than anything. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. How can you get along without trusting anyone? That's exactly how I get along. Uh, it's worth. I okay. like most of the people in your crew. But groups fall apart. People get killed. Then why did you bring me with you? I'm just trying to give you the tools you need to make it. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. So it's because I remind her, or like Clem reminds her of her sister. Uh. I always wanted a sister. I used to make my babysitter Sandra play a game that we were secret sisters. It was stupid kid stuff. Meh. 
You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut. <laughs> I mean, I did put the gun there. I figured I should get it out. I don't even know why. Why would you even do that? What could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there. And I'd, I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just well, aren't you just friends. a lovely fucking person? <clears throat> Jeez. All right, jackpot. Bet these walkers got some good stuff. That one's not coming back. Let's see what else he's got. They're just walkers. Why would they have anything? Well, pretty recently they weren't walkers, were they? Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these ones weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. Hmm. This that guy that she just stabbed looks a bit like uh, he's got. a doctor guy one. in Crawford. Half less traveled. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to it's get better. It's an achievement I just got, but I don't know what it's for. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. smart haircut thanks so has your crew always been so dysfunctional you fit in there but you weren't like them it makes me wonder I've actually only been with them a little while I don't know what it was like before I got there but Kenny was different I know that that's it A nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. She jabbed my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> you can never be too sure with these things. Here, give me a hand. True shit. These glasses, they're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, Clem. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, nah. Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Get off! Sarah! God damn it! Shit! Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Uh, Looks like there's an opening over there. Yeah. I was gonna suggest jumping over the car until I saw... Oh, no. uh, ...the barbed wire on the top of the fence. Ah! Nick. Hey, Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. You're looking a little pale. I'm sorry, Nick. Oh, come on. How are they always missing? I don't get it.
Now he's as dead on the outside as he was on the inside. <laughs> Got a point. He was a little dead inside. Yummy. Brains. It's all right. It's done. If it comes to it, if Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down, you gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. You know that, right? It never gets any easier, does it? As in for me. Notice me, Senpai. Hello, Serena. It seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Screwdriver. Very effective. We can do this. Even better, get a katana. Like uh, Michonne in the show. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other? Leave me alone! Go for it. Hello. <laughs> no, but... no! Nice work. Yes. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. What do you want? Got a nice little addition to your arsenal. Take out the knees first, then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. All right, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Sounds a bit chaotic. Looks dead. It's gonna take some work to get over there. Let's see if we can find anything over there. Okay. <laughs> of course. Fuji no Ken Wokurai. I don't know. I don't play Overwatch enough to be able to remember exactly what they say. Nice trick, huh? Sarah, I'm not. You guys seem to be in trouble. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. How do we get in? We're gonna get up. If we can make enough noise on this side. Oh no! Watch out! The Weeaboo brothers are here. <laughs> then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. Damn it! Fuck. What's going to grab their attention? Noise. I got you covered. Well, let's try and bang on the barricade first. I might get a few? No, 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 no. no? Okay. No. Who's the weep again? Uh, I don't know. You're a weep. I'm a weep. Okay. Damn it, don't do this. Seriously? That's good, but we need to keep it going somehow. Wait, so how am I... Wait, could I use... Body of a walker? We are all weeps, yeah. Listen to me. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. We are gonna Give me a hand. 
Up table, for fuck's sake. <laughs> fuck's sake, Wolf. And Serena. Come on. you run in a really strange way. Ah, uh, hello. Where are you? A fucking pirate? Come on. Hey. Crap. We gotta move it. It's locked. Then try something else. Seriously? <laughs> Help me block this. Hurry. Ah, uh, block it. Sarah, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. Did Nick find you? He, he made a run for it. Looking for help. He's dead. I I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. Can't flip the chairs if there are no chests. When I heard y'all banging through the door, I thought the walkers come to take what's left of us. Luke, where's Sarah? I, I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? She's been bit, hasn't she? You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clam. See, it's just like I told you. They're, they're okay. Sarah, come on. We we have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just okay. Yeah, I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home, made a beeline right for it. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. Listen, so, yeah. I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Lips, cats. Now? That's not nice of you. Shouldn't flip cats around. Sarah, it's me. Hi. I'm pretty sure she has like social anxiety. No! <laughs> Shit. Shouldn't have gone for the hawk. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now. But you're not. Yes, I am. But what about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. But you're still here. Because he taught me to be strong, even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to Come live. on. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. 
She will remember that. Well, only if she comes along. If she doesn't come along, she's gonna die. Get to the skylight now! Come on, I'll boost you. God damn it. Going back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here. Help me hold this. Nice cracked Glenn, spectacles. See what yeah. You can find. Uh can we use this? It's not big enough. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What? Oh shit. Okay. Ready? On three. One, two, three. Ah, uh, come on. You're gonna hear a shitload of fucking clicking. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Ah, uh, fuck's sake. Okay, go, go! Keep pushing! Go! Yes, I know. Damn those keys. Ah! Spam like I mean it. You're fucking right I am. Sarah. Luke, you first. We need you up top. Yeah, also the fact that Luke can't carry anyone. Okay, come on. Clem. Sarah, we have to go. Are you listening? Come on, I Sarah. Do it. You now, have to. Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. Doing. You can't save her, Clem. We have to go. Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh, <move. sighs> I don't care Clementine, if I slapped her. Just get the her. fuck up. Get up! 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 Jane. It's not that I want to slap her. <laughs> that's, if that's the only way to get her to get up and not die, then I'm fucking slapping her. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? No. We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. <laughs> it works every time. I don't know. I don't know about this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I the just, sister. I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around. The sister probably had an Sorry, an, an I, yeah. I don't mean to sound harsh. an anxiety attack. It's just the way things are. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No, I mean, Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. I just... I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke. You can't let it eat away at you. To be honest, Sarah's probably gonna die eventually well, I anyway. I dragged my sister across four states. 
And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her, or push her, or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time, walkers cornered us, forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I, I couldn't make her jump, couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Jane, I'm really sorry. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety, or ours. Sarah isn't dangerous. She's gonna be okay. Fine. Just be careful. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready, I'm just glad you're here. But wait. Wait, where's Nick? Dead. Uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Let's just give him some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's letting on. But I was hoping you might know, does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Just in case? No, I don't think so. I was afraid of that. I don't know anything. Mike sure as hell doesn't. I don't even know how to ask Jane. And that just leaves... Kenny. Kenny. He... Brought Sarita in there not long after you left. I don't know if he's done it yet. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. I've seen him like this before. That's why I was thinking you could talk to him. I think if it's just you, someone he knows well, you might be able to get through to him. And I wouldn't ask you to do it if it weren't for the baby. It's always Clementine who has to do everything. He's a master of handling children. Seen it in episode one. Eh, sure. <laughs> I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. He's probably not she feeling too good. Me to wait, but I had to. In case by some crazy chance she didn't come back. That beautiful face. So I waited. I thought maybe she'd be different. I'm sorry, Kenny. You know what it feels like to get beaten. Almost to death. Peaceful. Yeah, yeah, Doc turned out really great. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. 
I'm still taking a beating every day. Duck, Katya, Sarita. No peace, no rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That's not true. You help me all the time. I need you. <sighs> I've seen you take care of yourself more than any three adults put together. But uh, thanks for saying that. <laughs> yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet, anyway. Don't be stupid. It could be infected. Uh... But I'm guessing there's five episodes. Just like the first game. Yeah, Kenny is a good guy. He's just a good guy who experienced a lot of shit. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. That means the baby's coming, right? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. Both what teams do we do? coming 2018. All right, all right. Late 2018. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca travel like this. He's right. Well, I'm gonna have to play all of them. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. Now you got no choice but to lock down and ride it out. It hurts more than before. Is something wrong? What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny. Come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing. And blankets. And we gotta get out of this damn cold, too. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay, then. Kenny. You, uh, you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Sarah? If water isn't wet, Sarah, then what is it? You just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. Uh. We're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. Everything's gonna be fine. Maybe I should go with Jane. Better hurry and catch up then. All right, everyone, you know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. Jeez. Please skip some of the walking for me. Oh, hey. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a lot's happened today. And I don't know if... Well... It's sometimes good to have someone watching your back. So, 
Come on, partner. Let's go check out that deck. I like the height. Partner? Don't let it get to your head. Let's oh. go. I hope this place Game is best what we're looking for. No, Clem Besco. God knows we could use a break. I like Molly as well. I wonder what happened to her. I wonder if she'll appear in any of the later games. I'm still wondering about Check that Vince guy. The gate's still locked, which means that uh, hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first. The one place. who was working for cover. Who knows what could be in there? Do you think you can pick the lock? I should be able to figure something out. Ah. Uh. Maybe this will work. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. I'm not talking about sex with any of the characters. You know, uh, it wouldn't hurt to try Clem to is just best girl. <laughs> See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Think this thing still works? <laughs> Check the muzzle, Napoleon. Oh. They fell in with cement, so they're safe. Lolicon confirmed. Oh boy. I'm guessing everything will be black. I guess it's broken. Nah, you probably just need to put in a coin. Find anything? No, not even trash. That's a shame, ain't it? Wait, so I can't even do anything? Really? That was a waste of time. Uh Okay. There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind, though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. Why is he coming up here? No idea. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. Last thing we need is someone telling their friends about the new easy targets in the neighborhood. We should just try and stay out of sight till he's gone. Good call. Shit. Hide now. <laughs> Considering how loudly you're talking, I'm surprised she can just not hear it and then stepping around on the boards. What? I don't speak Russian. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. I am Arvo. I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone, especially Malinka Devochka, a little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. 
back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. You sure it took a long time to throw everything out of the bag and into the trash can though? No, I have no more guns. I swear to we you. We just need a... Anything? Lots and lots wow. of medicine. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. This medicine is all she has. If that medicine's for your sister... Why are you hiding it in the garbage? I, uh, I need to keep it, I need to keep it safe. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, Ibaditi. we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must We don't believe, believe a fucking word about your sick Please sister. Please don't make my sister suffer. She has been through enough. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you're just some junkie. You know what that word means, oh, huh? No, no, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I swear upon my own life. I don't believe any of this. Medicine, Clementine. No, no, no. Ah. No. Uh, I don't know. I feel like taking it would help us temporarily, and then his gang is gonna come and try to fuck us over. Cause he started out by saying my sister, my sister, my sister, but then he changed to saying my people, which means there's more than just his sister. Ah. Uh. Mm, I don't know. Good guy or bad guy? Help me out. Tell me what I should do. Bandit or not bandit? Yeah. What would Lee have done? Well, considering that in the first game when we got to the van, the car, we decided to leave the food and medicine and so on. Lee didn't take it. Clementine didn't take it. I had said no. So if we go by what Lee would have done, and if we go by the fact that Hyde also says no, then we should return the back and be sort of decent humans. You cannot take those from me. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, bullshit. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. I mean, he's barely walking as it is. I can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Couldn't we just like... Threatening some stupid kid? You were gonna shoot him. Why? Did you want me to? No. 
Why couldn't we have just taken like one bottle Go of pills? I'm gonna get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. God knows we could use a break. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop, and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. What happened? I'm worried. He might be dangerous. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, yeah. she's trying to get the gift shop open. You know, I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. And I'm never quite sure if she just done like people, or just plain out done like me. I like her. She's honest, and she knows what she's doing. Yep. Well, you've got the hearts for Jane. Say for some. <laughs> Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. But I just think he's had to take more than he can handle. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Carver deserved what happened to him. He was a bad man. No question about that. I'm just hoping we don't become the same. We won't. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh, I'll see you back there. To be honest, he deserved not to get his face smashed in. Because that's too quick. He deserved to be eaten slowly by zombies. He deserved a... I'm not supposed to be <sighs> yet, Kenny. Why is something wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. Clementine. What'd you find? The building around back has an observation deck. Somewhere the baby will be safer? It's coming so much faster than I thought. I told you. You're getting yourself all worked up over nothing. There's a room up there that might be good for when Rebecca has the baby. Jane's trying to get it open. Sounds good. As soon as Mike and Bonnie are back, we'll go. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. Yeah. I wish Alvin was here. Everything Alvin did was for you and the baby. Giving himself up to Carver like that. It was to try to keep you and the baby safe. Yeah. I know it's a waste of time. But I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. Ugh. Oh, shit. I got this. We ain't seen Mike or Bonnie in a while, and I'm not saying I don't trust them, but I'd appreciate it if you went and checked up on them. Yeah, go on ahead. I'll be fine. Are you okay, Kenny? Sure. Why wouldn't I be? Well, you know. 
You're going through a lot of fucking shit. Right, so where was Bishwas? Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting You're her. going to leave me, won't it? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When he... when he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sure. Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be all right. Yeah. Girl's got some serious anxiety issues. Hello. I you went with Jane. She didn't take off, did she? Take off? Why do you think she'd take off? Well, it's just a, a feeling. We found a place for Rebecca to have the baby. An observation deck with a gift shop. It's way up high and pretty safe from the wind. Oh, that's great. Just give me like ten more minutes to search around. He doesn't want to go back empty-handed. What? I just want to help. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I'll watch this side, you watch the other. Deal. Empty. Yeah. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. He likes you, bunny. Do you see anything good? Not so far. But let's give the place a good going over. Um... He just there is. Look at this, an old coat. Nice, good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. And someone could use it. Maybe I could give it to Rebecca. That's a good idea. I'm sure she'll really appreciate it. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I'd blame you if you do. I haven't always used the best judgment. It seems like you're with us now. That's what matters most. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a Confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Guess it's better than nothing, though. I'm just surprised that it could be lying right here and they could both walk around for god knows how long and none of them saw it. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless you want some broken glass. Souvenirs, huh? Looking for a keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, good point. Yep. I tell you, 
I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. <laughs> You're in a graveyard all the time. Yeah, true enough. Over here. You're joking, right? Water. How, how can water they be here for this long? Just what we need. And not fucking realize. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to find <sighs> open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. No, I mean, maybe. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Oh, Just Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <laughs> Just the smallest clamp. Pretty much. I'm stuck. Okay. Maybe I push from. Oh, fuck. Frick. Sake. I don't understand. <laughs> Like, well, that happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, no problem. They I'm always so say you have to get the brain. We should have been more careful. But how many times haven't people like just stuck them in the neck or the throat, and that's Matt been enough? Got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Let's get this water. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, Clem. Hey, I got this. <laughs> Those are pretty fucking big, though. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, it's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. We're gonna have to be conservative as hell. We'll make a plan. Everyone will have enough. I, I don't so. know how much are in those, but I'm guessing it's like especially Rebecca. 30, and 40 she's liters. She's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Come At on. least stick close. That's my assumption. They just walked on in like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon. I need the shit out of that raccoon. <laughs> Not like, I mean, just just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh <laughs> meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away. Where is it? I think it went over there. Uh, here? Over here. Shit! Shoot! Dang it! That is the ugliest oh, raccoon it. face I've ever seen. Aww. It has babies. I'm even hungrier than I was before. <laughs> How did I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well... I'm sort of glad it got away. It had a family. Yeah, me too. Come on, let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. We don't have much time to waste. <laughs> no worries, if they go really hungry, they could always eat ass. <laughs> <For sake. laughs> you're telling me your arms ain't tired? Nope. I could do this all day. <laughs> shit, shit, oh god! Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Um. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Clem! Clementine! Oh. 
Shit, walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. Somebody sent me a friend request and that guy wrote comment under my profile. Hey, I'm the real Kenny, Tukan, but I'm not Slav. I'm here. a tropical Tukan. Where's the place you and Jane found? What? <laughs> I'll show you. Good. Someone help me out. Oh god, there's so many. Mike, get Sarah. On it. Sarah, get going. Alright, did we leave behind the water? But I have told Mike to get the water. Damn it. I might have fucked us up a bit on that part. Lucas with Jane. Probably, yeah. Oh. That's about kid. as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what. Clementine! G Jesus, Clem. It it's just not. Um, Luke? It, it just happened. It it I wasn't. Uh, uh, wait, what's going on? In here. Let's get you comfortable. What the fuck are you two doing up here? Kenny! What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a second. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Oh, God. Oh. The walkers are right behind us. We have to keep them from getting up here. There's still the stairs. No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Right over shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. We should. You want to help? Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. Shit, that's a lot of them. We need everyone out here. I'm going outside. I'll help pull them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here yeah. they come. I trust you, Kenny. Here. We can't let them up here. Sarah, get the fuck away. Holy shit. Hello, Big Bob. Keep shooting. They are not getting up here. Should have probably saved the bullet for him. Help us. We could block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. Together. Ready? Go, 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 go. Move, boy. Oh. Did I say hello, bagels? The beagles. No, I didn't. She's probably dead anyway. I'm trying. You have to listen to me. Oh. She's gonna die, isn't she? Shit. I'm so sorry, Clem. We tried. 
just wasn't enough. I've done everything I could to save her. Does this shit ever end? We need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the... Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? I don't know. Just look around. She's born to die. Uh, I probably can't do this. Boost me middle. I have up. Getting closer. <laughs> Move it. Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. Watch it. Son of a bitch. Boost me middle. <laughs> It's a stillborn, isn't it? No, nah, I'm gonna remain silent. Okay, never mind. Counter terrorists win. <laughs> Kenny MVP for nothing. You're right. Hey, Clementine. Hey, how's he doing? Got a nice trade. Lose Sarah for the new bomb. But I don't like babies. Who's the most perfect little man in the whole world? You are. That's right. You are. He looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. Just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? Do you want to hold him? I don't know how. It's easy. Just keep him close and support his head. And before he goes... should rest especially you when's the last time you slept Kenny oh, about two years ago <laughs> well, somebody's got to watch you while mama gets your beauty sleep you never forget that smell um any Are you getting a little bit too attached to the baby? How the fuck did she give birth with her pants on? Uh... Oh shit. Yes. What are you doing? Listen, I'm sorry. I've got to go. Come on. The longer I stay, the harder it'll be. Go. Go where? Just... away. Okay? You know, Jamie... Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and... 
And watch it happen to you, too. You know the score. You're a smart kid. But I thought you believed in me. I do. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Jane reminds me a bit of, um... Listen, when the shit hits the fan... Carol, I think her does? name is, from Remember The Walking Dead show. make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. Like a younger version of her. You don't owe them anything. But make you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. And when push comes to shove, you'll see. Yeah, I know. Good. Okay. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Versatility is not overrated. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. Hello, Luke. Thought you'd be asleep by now. You okay? It's nothing, Luke. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just checking in with you. <sighs> Temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while. You know, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore. See if we can find some place to scavenge. Yeah. What? I know why you want to go with Jane. Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? <clears throat> Damn it! Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit. Childish? God damn it, Kate. You know what? Just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two could roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. What do you want from me? Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane? She made an offer. Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you, okay? Everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Jane, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't here. We gotta push on. We head north. Get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Or at least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clem's got a point. That could be a whole town full of supplies, and not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa! What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at, at the least. We've got that baby formula. And it won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine. If that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> Kenny. 
awkward <laughs> yeah I guess it would be a little hardcore yeah the reason I said it was weird I felt like I heard a little nya sound in the background really faint it could have just been something else like the baby sound being really low and sounding similar I guess She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This looked like someplace warm to you? No. We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up. Okay, you're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done. Like always. Keeping people alive. You're not helping anything by arguing. Don't forget, you agreed with me last night that we should get moving as quick as possible. Uh, uh, oh. Oh, here. Ah. Rip baby head. Maybe she shouldn't carry the baby. Oh, he's okay. I've got him. No, you rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. <sighs> Don't get all bent into a pretzel. I was just trying to help. People are too damn sensitive sometimes. Hello? What is this? Hey, it's a Russian kid. Please. Be on my side. Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. Please. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? I don't like this. He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Huh. I gave him his stuff back. Alright. Surely he's not gonna like, get a group to fucking kill me. Please? Hello, your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh, things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что мы забираем всё, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю? Чтобы у них не было. Может быть, у них есть патру... What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. Whoa, whoa, hang on now. What the hell? Why get excited? Clementine, you robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It, it wasn't any of us. Jane? Where's the other woman? What happened? I do not see a woman who was with you. Where is she hiding? She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. Они прячутся. Я знаю, что они прячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, скажи, чтобы они опустили оружие. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. Find my ass. Слушай, Arvo. Почему они не слушают? Я пытаюсь. We have a baby. You have a baby with you? 
Come on, let the baby card work. <laughs> this is just like a CSGO match with Russians in their case. <laughs> Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking shoot it! I'll do it! Drop it! Drop it! Don't fucking... Don't move! I said don't move! No! No! Please! No! Oh. Ah, uh, no. I hope it's not my fault, like, quote unquote, not uh, that shooting happened. Because I have a feeling that in that situation, everyone would end up shooting no matter what I did, even if I didn't shoot Rebecca. But I don't know. I I hope that my choice didn't change the outcome of that. That it's not like my fault. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright, so anyway. Um Pragmatism left Sarah at the trailer park. A lot of people left her. I wonder if it's because they weren't able to like get her back. It's like it's real world. Oops. Assuming they didn't help her out, make her a friend earlier. I'm not sure. Uh, most people didn't steal from Avu. So maybe most people like me were hoping that nothing bad would come of it. Uh, crawl through ticket booth. You and 50% of players volunteer to crawl through. I'm assuming you have to anyway. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you do it or not. Help the baby. Most people help the baby. Can you really say no in that situation? I don't know. And did you shoot Rebecca? Most people chose not to shoot her. So I, I hope the outcome is the same for those people as it was for me. So otherwise I'm gonna feel bad about my choice. Hello? Okay. Okay, so that's uh, the end of episode 4. And then I assume there's only episode 5 left. I think there's more than 5 episodes at least. But yeah, I feel like this game is just... It's 5. I feel like this game just keeps on giving, you know? I've said it before, but I feel like the first one was really kind of slow because uh, like it took like two and a half hours to get through each episode of the first one, and except for the last one, of course. But I feel like a lot of the time you're just kind of walking around trying to explore. Whereas with this one, 
you don't have like 500 things you need to inspect all the time that doesn't do anything there's always like, there's a few things that are pointless but I feel like in the first one you get into a room and then there's like 20 things to inspect 15 of those are useless and I feel like this one is more like it's two or three useless items and then there's two or three useful items did I say useful both times? I don't know, but you know what I mean. Like, a few useless ones, a few useful ones. And then there's just constantly something happening. So I am... pleasantly surprised with the entire gameplay, so far at least. And I hope the last episode is going to be great as well. the fact that there's a different song after each episode that plays and it's a new uh, like background image and that changes each time. I didn't really notice that after the first couple of episodes but I noticed it after the one before the fourth, after the third episode and then I'm guessing this is gonna be the background. It's kind of a cool feature. Miss Floopy Do Pause 2014. What? Alright, so let's see if it's gonna be like a dark, kind of creepy background again now, with music. I mean, even the text color changes, I think. Uh, let's see, first day where it's like 24 degrees outside, and it fucking starts to rain cats and dogs. Huh? I know what you're on about, Ulf. You confuse me now. But yeah, uh, pleasantly surprised with the game. This is so much better than the first one. And I hope when I get to the third one, it's gonna be just as good. And when the fourth one comes out, I hope for the same. Because these are really good. But this one is really good. It's so much better than the first. Uh yeah i'm gonna stop playing for now gonna end my stream as well and then maybe i'll play later tonight but i don't think i'm gonna play the walking dead again today maybe i'll stream it tomorrow or something so yeah i thank all of you for joining in and checking it out and hopefully enjoying the game, despite when I make bad choices. But they're my choices, mostly. The only thing I can think of that I would change would be... Um, when I told Mike to get Sarah, I think there was an option to make him get the water instead. And I would have made him get the water instead of uh, Sarah. It's like logically, she did, she called for Clementine, so why would she go because Mike came to her? 
But other than that, I'm fairly happy with my choices overall.